Okay, Patrick, tell us a wee bit more about this atheism thing. Yeah, Patrick, bestow upon us another of your objections to the existence of the god we believe in. Ah, yes, the god you believe in. How terribly convenient that out of all the gods worshipped throughout the world, the one you worship is the only one that actually exists. Well, yeah, Patrick, that's why we worship him. No, you unenlightened oafs don't understand. I'm saying your god doesn't exist, and the only reason you think he does is because you uncritically accepted the religious claims of the region where you grew up. Patrick, we're Christian converts. We grew up worshipping the old Irish gods. Like what? I don't know, like Lugbagug, god of walking sticks, and the dog do, god of clubbing baby seals. I think you just made those up. Oh, come on, Patrick. How dare you question our expertise in Celtic mythology, Patrick? Oh, stop it. My point is this. Even if you converted to Christianity, most Christians only believe Christianity is true because they grew up in the Christian world. If they'd been born in China or India, they'd have been Buddhist or Hindus. Patrick, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, Patrick, you must worship Doofadingus, god of what the heck are you talking about? Oh, please, how could you possibly deny that I'm right? It's not a matter of you being right, Patrick. It's a matter of you being 500 miles from the point. Explain yourself, Bogman. Gladly. So over here, you have the question we're debating. Is the Christian God real? And the answer you've given is, no, Christians only believe in Jesus because they uncritically accept the religious assertions of their culture. Problem is, this isn't actually an answer to the question over here. Rather, you're answering an entirely different question over here. Namely, do Christians believe in God for intellectually pure reasons? This is what's known as a non sequitur. Point being, even if your answer to this question were entirely correct, that answer has no bearing on this question over here. Of course it does. If Christians don't have any good reason for believing in God, why should I? Ah, oh, Patrick. That's an ad hominem, Patrick. You gotta stop worshipping Maka Manana moron, the goddess of logical fallacies. And narcoleptic fishermen, Patrick. We all know you think Christians are big dummy dum-dums, Patrick. But even if many stupid Christians have stupid reasons for believing in Jesus, it does not follow that Jesus is not the Son of God because Christians are stupid. Look, Patrick, you're an evolutionary biologist. Would you agree that there are countless people who don't understand the first thing about evolutionary theory and only cling to it because they uncritically accept what their science teachers have told them? Well, yes, I suppose so. But... Likewise, if you'd been born in, say, 5th century Ireland and had been raised to believe the world was created by... Blark the god of spleen infections. Blark the god of spleen infections. What, pray tell, are the odds you still would have ended up a Darwinian atheist? Well, of course I wouldn't have been. But none of that changes the fact that evolution is real and that God doesn't exist. And that's precisely the point, Patrick. Objective reality is not determined by subjective belief in that reality. Evolution either happened or it didn't, and we don't believe it did. But ignorant evolutionists are most certainly not evidence that evolution didn't happen. Likewise, uncritical Christians are not evidence of God's non-existence. Thus, if we're going to debate the existence of the Christian God, we have to look at the actual evidence, such as the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's our evidence God exists. What's your evidence he doesn't? I'm smarter than you. Patrick, you sound just like Cardamon Googma, god of tweed-wearing, insufferably arrogant twerps who vastly overestimate their own intellect. Also the god of first-year seminary students. <laughs> Patrick, 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 that's the only thing you intellectual incompetents ever say. You're just a one-hit wonder, like them. How dare you, Patrick? Yeah, Patrick, we're not in like Kaja Goo Goo, the god of weak old baby diapers, and Chamba Wamba, the god of vomiting Australians. Mm -hmm.